All right, well, as fun as that was writing on here, I definitely need a little more practice and more space, obviously. So I'm gonna try typing out the next one just to keep it a little more organized. So, a landscape company wants to plant a lawn seed. A 20 pound bag of lawn seed will cover up to 420 square feet of grass and cost $49.98 plus the 8% sales tax. A scale drawing of a rectangular yard is given. The length of the longest side is 100 feet. The house driveway, sidewalk, garden areas, and utility pad are shaded. The unshaded area has been prepared for planting grass. How many 20 pound bags of lawn seed should be ordered and what is the cost? So what I'm thinking here is I need to, so this, all of this white is grass but all of this that's shaded in, I don't actually have to, is actually not gonna be grass. So I don't need to cover any of that. So the first thing I need to do is figure out how much grass we're gonna want. So I need to figure out this area, this area, okay? Instead of doing that though, I'm just gonna find the area, I can find the area of this whole rectangle because I know the area is 100 feet. So what I'm gonna do instead is then just take out what's in here. Okay. So here, I'm going to write out my steps really quick, just to make sure I'm ready. So step one, figure, determine total area. Step two, I'm going to determine non grass area. Step three, I need to Subtract non grass from total to determine how many square, how much grass we need, how much grass there is. So I also need to keep in mind that here I'm doing, I'm going to figure this all out in units squared. Or squared units to start and then and then for step four this is in feet and then this is in square feet so I need to convert to square feet so I need to know the scale Then, and now I need to figure out how many, oops, sorry, step five, how many bags of lawn seed I need, and step six, cost. Okay, so I'm just doing squared units right now, so this is 20 across I'm gonna write that 20 units here and this is 18 units so for step one why is it doing this okay so for step one we have 18 times 20, which equals 360 units squared. Okay. So that's our total amount. Step two, we need to figure out, I'm going to put that actually up here too. Step two, the non grassy area. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna break this up into different parts. So this is a rectangle, this is a rectangle. So we're gonna call this area one. We're gonna call this area two. We'll call this area three. It's not wanting to click. Three, we got area four up here.
area five, area six, and area seven. I got what happened. Just okay. So I need to figure out each area. So let's do this. Let's make a bulleted list. So I've got area one is four by four, which is 16 units squared. Then we have area two. which is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven high by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. And seven times 13, I'm gonna do on my handy dandy calculator. Which is 91. Oh, it's doing it for me. I get it now. Wow, well, that's cool. Okay. Uh, area three is two units squared. I just counted. Area four is. Well, we knew that was 13 across, so it's gonna be 13. And then area five is one, two, three, four, five, six units squared. Area six, one, two, three, four, five, six, six units squared again. And then area seven, one, two, three, four, five, six units squared. So now I need to add them all up, which is gonna be 16 plus 91 plus two plus 13 plus six plus six plus six equals 140. And that would be units squared. Awesome. So now we can go ahead and move on to step three. Oh, we got to write this up here. So three, subtract non-grass from the total to determine how much grass there is. So if the total is 360 units squared, I'm gonna leave that out for now, and we subtract the 140 that is non-covered, that equals 220 units squared. So the scale of the map, we're going to do step four now. The scale we figured out is 100 divided by 20 because it's 100 feet, it's 20 units, is five. So if it's five feet per side of a square which means that one square is five by five, which is 25, sorry, feet squared per box, okay? 
So I need to figure out how to, so I need to convert our total, which is 140 units squared of grass. Oops, sorry. It's 220 units squared of grass, my bad. And I'm going to multiply that out. So it's 140 times 25, because there's 140 squares and it's 25 feet per square. Um, 25 squared feet, feet per square, sorry about that. And that's 3,500 feet squared. Mm, that doesn't seem right. 220. Oh, I didn't change this. This should be 220. There we go. There we go. That makes more sense. Okay, so it's 5,500 feet squared for our grass. So we have 5,500 square feet of grass. Okay, now our next step is how many bags of lawn seed do we need? So, okay, so step five, we have how much lawn, bags of lawn seed do we need? So if there's 5,500 square feet and it says a 20 pound bag of lawn seed will cover up to 420 square feet Then I'm going to divide this by 420 because I need so 20 pounds so one bag then I need to divide 5,500 by 420 to determine how many bags I will need. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So we have 5,500 divided by 420, and that's 13.0952. All right, so now the last step, step six, sorry, this should be bags of lawn seed. And we want to make sure to put that up here so that we have it recorded somewhere easy to find. Okay, so the cost. So if we need 13.0952 bags of lawn seed, well, I can't buy part of a lawn seed. So I'm going to actually need 14. So I'm going to change this. So 14 bags. And now I have step six. So step six is we have we need 14 bags and each bag costs $49. So times $49 and 98 cents plus tax. Okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out without tax. So that'd be 14 times 49.98. And that equals $699.72. Now I need to figure out tax. So tax is going to be the total times 0 0.08. Because it's an 8% tax. So that's 8% right there. That's 8%. So my total was 699.72, and I'm going to multiply that, oh, it's going to let me do it that way, times 0 0.08, which equals $55.97, so we're going to round that to 98 cents. So now I need to add those together. So it's 600, so then we have total plus tax, which is $699.72 time, or sorry, plus $55.98 equals 
$755.70. Another way you could do tax is you could say, okay, well, it's 1.08. This is going to be the total plus the tax times 14 bags times $49.98. And that's going to give you, oops, it didn't multiply over here. Let's see if that changes it. There we go. We're going to get the same amount and that rounds to $755.70. So the total cost is going to be $755. We're going to write that in a sentence. The total cost of the lawn seed will be $755.70. All right. So let's go ahead and go back to our PowerPoint. We've just practiced. Nice job. Okay, so lesson summary. One strategy to use when solving area problems with real world context is to decompose drawings into familiar polygons and circular regions while identifying all relevant measures. We didn't do circular regions today. We will be doing that tomorrow. Since the area problems involve real world context, it is important to pay attention to the units needed in each response. All right, so it's gonna be your turn now. Most of you, I am guessing, already got out the worksheet or looked at the worksheet so that you could follow along with me. Your worksheet though is to click there on that page and it'll pop up. Should be a PDF for you to print if you want to. There is another practice if you wanted to look at it and check it out, it might be fun. I really recommend you put it in, in the show off on Burns Teams if you figure it out, maybe with your work for some pictures and just for fun. And then for evidence, please make sure you are attaching a scanned picture or a scan um, of the completed worksheet to the weekly reflections in Teams, or you're pasting a picture into the weekly reflections in Teams, please do not email me. Um, my email is very, very busy, and I am worried that if you send it to me on there, it's going to get misplaced or I'm not going to see it because I'm going to have a hard time finding it. Um, please just attach it there. If you're having a hard time doing that, please make sure you are asking your classmates for help first. They are doing this with you and many of them had a lot of success with it last week. So please be using them. When you're done, check your work against the answer key. The answer key is at the bottom of the worksheet this week or for today. Um, keep your work somewhere safe so you can turn it in. Take a picture right away so you don't lose it. Email me with any questions. And if you haven't used your full 30 minutes, finish your time on one of your math choice activities, for example, Moby Max. So uh, just a heads up on this worksheet. It's only two problems. So it's this problem and this problem. Please notice how many steps I took to do this one problem. You might want to use a full page in your notebook to do this. If you want to upload this document to OneNote, you can type over it if you set it as a background. I don't have time to show you that right now. Um, but you're more than welcome to do it that way. Uh, otherwise, in your notebook's just fine. Just please make sure you're staying organized because it would be really hard to go back and find things if I hadn't stayed this organized. So please make sure you're staying organized with your two problems. And then you can check your answers down below. Um, and you can also look at another, you can also look through the steps of how to do the previous problem. All right. Well, I hope you guys are having a good day. I miss ya. And I'll uh, be hearing from you soon. Bye.